We were born of clay and immaterial regrets, summoned from molten lava with bags of blood and sticks of bone. We are both clothed in sprinkles of fur, both swaddled in robes of mud until until we stopped drinking water and he started drinking wine, until his steps ascended and ours descended, until we became pretty. When clay was melted and sculpted into a statue, something inanimate, something to be observed from afar, something that was a blotch on his background. When our faces swallowed our words and hungry little babies crumpled our thoughts in their fat fists, immaterial regrets, never materializing because we don't regret and he does. He regrets something, anything, so he put us in dresses to stop us from running away from him, so that our lights would caught up in our inferiority. He gave us gold too heavy to climb in. He gave us corsets that lace by lace stifled any protest. Ripped the stitch lining of lungs, turned diaphragms inside out, and threaded them between ribs that are not even ours, because man birthed woman from the womb of a rib. They stuck any space left with frothy lace, tipped white like ocean waves, to remind us that we are drowning. They gave us stilettos to remind us of our downhill slope, peppered us with powder for our faces that settled in our lungs. They stitched their inescapable superiority into bleached bonnets, burned away their unnamed gears with curling irons. They told us to look your best, dear, but neglected to mention what would happen if we did. For birthdays, little boys get toy swords. They are the ones that will combat injustice, but injustice has such lovely wrappings. We forget it is hiding under the big pink bow. We forget it is sewn to the princess costumes, to the puff purple sleeves, to the glitter encrusted shoes, to the little tin crown. That means we have a kingdom the boys will fight for while we look our best. It means fighting, dying with dignity because nobody saves anybody with lipstick. <laughs>